Go ahead. Uh, I understand that a lot of people think about asteroids. Uh, let me explain this about that. Is that um, it's very simple mathematics. All you need is uh, algebra, trigonometry, geometry, and calculus, and things of that nature. The calculus lets you plug all three in together. And uh, know the laws of uh, Sir Isaac Newton, uh, people like that, the laws of Kepler, the laws of uh, Einstein, Kepler, and Newton. Okay, then from there, um, what you can do is make calculations. For example, uh, there is an asteroid approaching us, a uh, pretty close approach, as big as my house, and this is only one room of it, but it's uh, 42 by 42 feet, coming in close, but it's not going to hit us. So, and don't use your computer, because if you use your computer, it's going to screw you up. Get out your pen, your paper, and figure it out yourself on a calculator. Don't use your computer for this, because the computer is going to screw you up. Now, um, the next point would be an asteroid coming in, incoming, say, February 16th, 2013, I believe. And now, that one's not going to do anything either. We're going to give it what we call gravitational assist. I don't want to get very uh, too technical with you, but I'm, I'm going to tell you nothing's going to hit us 2012 or 2013. I'm not going to tell you, well, can anything happen in 2012? Nothing's going to hit us, though. Um, uh, same thing 2013. Can anything happen? Well, can it? Maybe it can, but nothing's going to hit us. Now, I'll get on to uh, 2027 or 2020, uh, or 2037 or 2039 later, because that's, um, that's a whole different subject, but uh, it's still, uh, nothing's going to hit us. Enjoy yourselves. Have a good time, folks. Talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye.